Bharat Grovi and Vaikam Mohammad Bashir, Taskmaster Mohammad Sharif, Taskmaster Jabir Kutiyadi. And I'm not that much happy with some people or great personalities like Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, Amir Khan, and Taskmaster Shani. You know why? I will let you know. Distinguished guests, respected judges, fellow Taskmasters, a very warm good evening to you all. <laughs> In our uh, back home, we have a say that there is no medicine for two things. One is jealous, and the other, another, I will let you know. Like, actually, I registered for this particular contest of our club twice. First time, I skipped my humorous contest and I registered for the else. And in between, I did my regular uh, speech on my Taskmaster. And one of my favorite handsome evaluator did evaluation for that particular speech. And he did a very constructive comment and evaluation for me. And he told me that your speech was awesome, your justice was great, appreciable, and uh, your eye contact was good. But you know, a small mistake. It was very constructive, and I really enjoyed it and inspired me. It would have been incorporated. A small bit of smile in your six minute speech, it would have been a great speech. So I was thinking, you know, why shouldn't I compete for this humorous speech? At least I can participate in it. I took it as a challenge, you know, and I decided, I called my contest, uh, contest uh, manager, manager again, and I uh, registered for the humorous speech. My first part is over. Then it comes the second part. It was my big burden, a choice, uh, a topic. You know, a topic like, it's very hard for me, a person like me, I cannot speak even my six minute speech. I, wa I, wa I want to make all this uh, love in this my topic. I didn't sleep for days. I was thinking, I was wondering, and in between, again, like a diamond in the sky, the face of my same evaluator come to my mind. Then the face of this evaluator bring me the topic to me. You know, people like me, and people with same photos of me, we think that we, like Albert Einstein, we are the most intelligent people on the globe. You know why? We are suffering with a same thing called alopecia, which is called as baldness. So we think like we are the most intelligent people in the in the in the globe. So on the way, when in my childhood, my mother used to tell me, if you have been studying a little bit better, maybe you have you you'll be like uh, Steve Jobs or Sundar Pichai. You know why? When I move, move to my room and I, I start studying, usually I study in dim light. You know why? Because very famous people like Abraham Lincoln, Einstein, they used to study in the street light or dim light. So I used to study in dim light. I open my book and I start studying. I hold my head with my hand because you know I, I want to boost my concentration. And I open my book. I start just running my fingers on my head. Then the game starts. I used to count my hairs falling one, two, three, <laughs> five. When it reaches to hundred, I stops my study. It, then I turn my book, I, I, I prefer a blind page, I need to see it more visibly. Then again start, it reaches 100, I close, I am disappointed, I stop studying. That's why my mother used to turn like this. And, I, and, the, and, and only I realized that it's very hard, even though you are very intelligent, without studying, it's very hard to get good marks. <laughs> Anyhow, I pass my pre-degree. People think that pre-degree or plus two is the turning point of your life, you know? And uh, I got admission in a professional college, in a pharmacy college, in uh, Coimbatore. Actually, I want to study in UP because uh, my father is not that much rich. I prefer Coimbatore because this is called as poor UP. And I joined in a college. And uh, you know, our college, especially a college outside your, uh, your state, and it's a professional college, uh, they used to have very thorough writing. So very hardcore writing. And there is a particular day called Welcome Day. In this particular day, we, only on that day, we friends used to mingle together. We used to talk together. 
And, uh, uh, and on that day, one of our, our friendly classmates, I just talked to his teacher, she's staring at me, and she's coming near to me, and she look at me and uh, said, hello, hey, uh, you, that bald headed uh, thin guy, can you do a favor for me? You know, all castle of my dream is gone. <laughs> all everything. You know, by, by that time, I, I decided I have to opt uh, an alternative. Like, I stopped using shampoos or detergent, even though I'm, I'm, I'm bathing, you know? Like, I stopped <laughs> using all the detergents. Uh, I, I, I just searching for alopecia, Ayurvedic medicines, and uh, churnas, multivitamins, uh, because I don't like allopathic medica medication because it, it may leave some side effects to you. Even though I don't ask you to stop people buying allopathy because that's my bread and butter because I'm a farmer, you know. <laughs> so like uh, after that, I finished my degree. I moved to Saudi Arabia as a part of my job, and uh, I finished almost two years. And I, I, when, I, when I'm back in, back to India, one of my friends he gave me a Gatsby uh, hair styling gel, and I moved this uh, in my pocket. And with this uh, gel, I trapped a, a young girl near my village. And I got married. I got a cute child with a head full of dark brown hair. Even though I'm not very much happy, you know why? I'm still I'm 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 just uh, get inferiority complex that I don't have that much of hair like Charlie or, or some of my friends. So on one fine morning of uh, 2011, one man came from United States. Like you know, he was like a god man for people like me, and people with the same fathers of me, we were, we were planning to make an association to build a temple for him. You know who is he? He's none other than Fahad Fasan. He's the man who inspired us. You, be, you, uh, you can imagine, even now, I carry a photo of him in my passport. You know, uh, all of this, you don't think that I'm disappointed. I'm really, really happy, like all my friends with the same fathers, and we think we are the most intelligent people on the globe. Thank you, and back to the conversation.